still. All right, it's time for the NXT TV report. No, it's not. I'm joking. Golly. Oh, now you don't want to talk about it? <laughs> well, we had the Jericho Appreciation Society mandatory meeting. Now, I tell you what, NXT had a lot better stuff than this. Sorry. Essentially, everybody walked out on Chris Jericho. A lonely, wet, golden retriever. And he was so sad, and he went backstage. And that preposterous, scarred, miscreant, Don Callis, mm. he said, I'm sorry if I played any role in this. But Jericho says, it's fine, it happened. And you know what? I made up my mind. Next week, let's announce it. Don goes, I'll get everything ready. He's all excited. Young Bucks and the Hardys. I cannot believe the match the Young Bucks got out of the Hardys here. Really? Yeah, and it I was... I didn't think it was going to happen. It was not looking good early. I was like, no. oh my God, we're about to see something historic here. <laughs> but they managed to pull it off at the end. They hit the BTE trigger. And then the Bucks and FTR had a face-to-face. -face, and without actually saying anything on the microphone, they all looked at each other. And they agreed to face off for the tag team titles at All In. Didn't even have to point at a sign. There was sign pointing on the show. Oh, there was. By Sting, Later. yeah. Yes. They announced a tournament for the women is noted. It is Akaru Shida versus Anna J, which has to be a title match. Because if Anna J beats Akaru Shida in the tournament and Shida doesn't go to the pay-per-view where it's a four-way for the title, she is no longer the champion. So this had to be a title match. Soraya versus Sky Blue. Bunny returning against Britt Baker next week, and she Tony Storm as a as a uh, as a former champion who never got a rematch. Even though I don't know if you've noticed or not, if you watch AEW, but former champions never get rematches. No. Well, she's going right to the to the finals. Um, I want to throw this one out there at you. I know it would be a swerve for some people. But Soraya can be there alongside Tony Storm. Do we really need to see her wrestle? Couldn't Sky Blue? Yes, we have situation? to. It's Wembley. Okay, fair enough. It's Wembley. MJF and Adam Cole had another bro night out. I'll spend hours on this tonight. I got a lot to say. But they went to a trampoline park. Do you have any traumatic dodgeball memories? MJF was beating up all these kids. Cole told him he can't do that. But then a kid called him a nerd. So cool. Cole gave Adam or Mike or uh, MJF, whatever his name is, he gave him the office to take out these kids. Mo yeah. Moxley, Wheeler, and Claudio did a promo, and they made fun of Pac for getting killed, missing Wembley. And uh, <laughs> Wheeler goes, yeah, Pac, that injury turns out it's going to keep you out past Wembley. And there's a pause. And then John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli, and Wheeler Utah all said, that sucks. That was it. Jack Perry and Rob Van Dam for the FTW title. This was miles better than I expected. Really? And you know what's funny is like, Rob's one of those guys now. He walks down to the ring. He looks like Sakuraba walking. I mean, this guy, he looks like, oh, my Lord, he looks Lenore every Suzuki for the kids. Every bit. No, he were, he walks even worse than Suzuki. <laughs> he looks every bit of 52 years old. And then this bro gets in the ring, and he does all of his old high spots. The only one that got moderately screwed up was he went for this split-legged moonsault, which, by the way, at 52, he can still do the splits. And he was leaning a little too far forward, so he didn't get the spring. And so he had to kind of bounce and lean back and he, he still pulled it off but it was slow which was fine because jack was supposed to move anyway and uh then we had a uh ref bump rbd hit the five star which is really a three and a half star frog splash at this point yeah, let's be honest point, yeah aubrey ran down jack kicked out which got a big pop and then uh jack hit a legal low blow tossed rob into a chair in the corner pulled the trunks got the pin Retain the FTW title. Who's I next? What Montez's Ford's. Frog oh, he's splash. he's easily got a seven star frog splash. We we we've, think he gets we've the changed the scale, as everybody okay. is well aware. Nine and a half in Tokyo. Adam Cole and MJF came out, and they announced that they will be challenging for the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles at Zero Hour, 
And uh, Roderick Strong came out, still in his neck brace. And he said, I can't believe that you want to win the ROH Tag Titles with him. And not a Ring of Honor legend like me. MJF freaking buries this dude. And poor Adam Cole's just got his head down. Oh, God. And so finally, Roderick goes, Cole, why aren't you standing up for me? Maybe the kingdom was right. Whoa. You're not my friend after all. And the kingdom comes out, and, and Cole leaves with him. And Well, Cole doesn't. Or I'm sorry, Roderick does. And listen, I, I know the history because this is my job. But, like, if I didn't, I would be like, what? What are the kingdom doing? What is he talking about? What? And they all left together. And then Cole shoved MJF. He goes, I'm your friend, but I'm also his. And now MJF's mad. And Cole realized he made a mistake, and he, he kind of begs off a little, and the crowd chants, hug it out, and they hug it out. And Max Giz says, yeah, go check on your boy. You know, I don't want to be that guy, but I, I can't help but notice that Ever since they lost to FTR, they have not been as over as they were before. Oh, Jesus. It's true. Prove me wrong. Go back. Do it. Just, I'm just, you just keep going. I'm going to do rhythmic schism pounding on the sorry. mat until you move on. I'm sorry. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. BCC beat the Lucha Bros. Somehow, and I cannot explain this, the key spot of the match and the finish was unmasking Penta, and they didn't film it. Y'all come here to see WCW? Moxley rolled him up, pinned him. They destroyed the Lucha Bros afterwards. They're going to get theirs at Wembley one way or the other. I think I that's clear. So. Kenny Omega, he'll announce his future, what he plans to do at Wembley next week. Mogul Embassy came out laughing about what they did to Nick Wayne. Darby comes out, and they did it. They had Darby... Demand an explanation because, uh, you know, this AR Fox is calling him a jerk. You never contacted me for five years after I let you live in my house. And uh, he goes, you know, I did try to call you. You never answered. I did try to help you. You wouldn't get the help. So, yeah, I walked away. And you know what? You did this by yourself. Congratulations to you. And now you're mad because I helped a 16-year-old. I put a word in for him. He goes, you, whatever you do to me, whatever you say to me, I'll always, I'll always give you credit for changing my life. But it looks like you got some new friends. I got friends, too. Out comes Sting, gets in the ring, beating dudes up, ends up putting the baseball bat on Swerve's neck, points at the all-in sign. It is Swerve and A.R. Fox versus Sting and Darby at Wembley. A match with an angle to set it up. So I that's good. this was great. Uh, Darby is... And it's a coffin match. Well, this writes itself, everybody. Of course. You haven't figured it out yet. Well, I love Darby Allen, though. I love the way he works inside the ring because I don't have to take the bumps or be the person that he is darting into. And he has got a very natural way with the microphone where, again, you are, he's Eddie Kingston, the same sort of way. There's something believable. There's something relatable to them where even it's, if it's the most ridiculous thing, or even if they're bragging or whatever, there's something relatable enough about it where, again, too, way too often it's, you know, somebody playing characters. And the main event was Sheeta and Anna J. Yes, this was the main event of the show. Hikaru Sheeta and Anna J teach you to hold up a sign brian they gave him nine minutes of tv time but three of that was during a commercial <laughs> and then revolution not only that slow, brian they had a uh and actually you know there was nine minutes of tv time but they they went off they they finished the match i think like two minutes early so they got about four minutes of tv time for this main event and the timing of the finish got screwed up Ugh. Parker jumped in because there was good, there was going to be a spot, but the ref just counted three anyway, and uh, and that was the end. So Akari Shida won. She is going on to uh, to the pay per view to defend her title in this tournament. This was My not TV the most pal. engaging main event I've ever seen on a Dynamite show. No, no, it was. Uh, Can say that with some certainty. It wasn't an awful show, but there were again enough moments in it. There were a lot of bumps where. Uh, again, there's <laughs> there's a lot of time. I guess still two weeks left to go before all in, and you know they <laughs> again need to tighten some things up because the last two weeks, last couple weeks, you can really point out some holes in the game. 
You know, I uh, I never really get angry watching AEW. I, I enjoy myself for the for the two hours, but I will say it was a weird show. Yeah. And it was not the best dynamite that I ever saw. There was some weird stuff that happened. But that's what happens. They got, TV. they got a lot of shows they gotta they gotta write for. They got a lot of shows they gotta book for. You know how many tournaments that is? And uh we're 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 all in on all in. But we have all out a week later and we know one thing. Darby and Luchasaurus. And other than that, they don't talk about it. It's a secret. It's like New Japan where you are not allowed to talk about the next show until the current show is done. After that, you can talk about it. So it's, it actually looks like we're going to get one week build to All Out. Like they'll shoot angles on All In. They'll shoot angles on, on Dynamite. They'll shoot an angle on Collision. And there's your All, there's your all Out uh, pay-per-view. So we'll see how it does. Asking $100. Right? It's hundred dollars. Yeah, fifty bucks each from fans. So it's an interesting experiment. And we'll, well see I'm how not, it does. I, this is the only time they're going to be doing it. I would assume, you know, they. Although I guess if you wanted to theorize something out of it, if WBD wants them to do more pay per views, you know, the the it's going to be fifty bucks. The cable companies get nothing out of the UFC. The cable companies get very little out of WWE. They need events, and in demand needs events to try to distribute. So, twenty-five bucks and twenty-five bucks with AEW with the hope. Yeah, you know what? I take that back because it's a far better rate for the entertainer or for the provider now. So, you know, AEW gets a lot more of that money. But even if it's seventy thirty, they still want you to order on Bleacher Report. But still, you know, this could be a way where they look at it where if it does a good enough number, and both of them probably will, where, yeah, please, run more events. We'll figure out a way to give you more production costs. We'll factor it in somehow. But we do want you to do eight pay-per-views a year, no matter what, if not 12. So Ricky Starks comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in I don't even know how long ricky starks last week cheated to win the owen hart cup so this man comes out and he is cheered he talked about how much money he had his expensive shoes his expensive bag mm -hmm. he's rich you see so to review if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like oh i don't know a tesla or a watch and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses people might not like you i have no what idea getting? what you're talking about hey guys did you love this clip if so you should join our channel just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do wrestling observer live wrestling observer radio the brian and Vinny show all of them in full hd full length plus archives of all of your favorite shows click join today and don't miss out